a few, you know, not too many people have done that. Uh, it's three hours of gameplay that just went live over the course of the last couple of hours, so you probably haven't seen it all yet unless you were here live. Um, so far, man, that first stream was mostly intro, right? It was like two and a half hours of straight up intro, and now we've arrived at the first town, which I believe this is where the game really starts, and then from here tonight, we're actually going to see what the game is. Um... So tonight really is our first taste of the game. I'm actually very glad we chose the entire day today for Final Fantasy 16, or else I would have been like, well, <clears throat> I kind of know what the story is, but I wouldn't have been able to say that I actually know what the game is, right? Um, so tonight, let's see. Uh, we're in the main town. It just unlocked where you can kind of walk around and do whatever, and I think there's a couple side quests that we can accept and see what they are. And I don't know if they're going to allow us to go into the open world and do any kind of questing or combat or if there's story. I, I don't know yet. We have to we have to advance a little bit further in this town uh, for the game to actually become what it's going to be. It was a good dinner. Good evening to Shia, who re the membership for 25 months. and says, good evening, Phil. More action coming tonight. That is correct. I'm excited to see what happens tonight. So I'll say this up front. I'll say this up front, okay? Um, if tonight... You would like to support the stream. Thanks in advance. It's launch day of a new game, and anything is appreciated. You know, liking the stream adds engagement. More people will probably come check out the stream if it gets more likes. Um, you know, I would say in particular, if you haven't noticed, the memberships have been way down over the last week. We lost over 200 members that were gifted last month, and we have barely seen any new members at all. Every day we're seeing a lot of re-ups, but pretty much no new memberships. So if you really wanted to help the channel tonight, a great way would maybe to be to give some memberships to some people who are here. Uh, earlier today... We had over 500 viewers for most of the stream, and uh, no progress with memberships. Everything else was great, though. Super Chats tips were good, so I'm certainly not complaining. I'm just saying that would definitely be like a great way to help right now because it's been on the slower side for memberships. But outside of that, <clears throat> everything is good. Thanks to anyone who supports in any way tonight. Um, Captain DCW says he's 20 hours into the game already. Holy shit, how did you play that much? <laughs> Seriously, how on earth did you play 20 hours? The game came out not even 24 hours ago. Holy crap, man. Well, I'm glad you're liking it. 20 hours. <clears throat> All right. I mean, we're going to get started momentarily, guys. I don't want to wait too long. I want to jump in and try to get progress tonight. Again, I'll say in advance, thanks to anyone who contributes in any way. Anything is appreciated. As simple as liking the stream or any kind of contribution that you could possibly lend would be greatly appreciated. That is how I make my living. It would be great to have a strong night stream here tonight. For our premiere Final Fantasy 16, if possible. All right, thank you, Gabriel. Good evening. Me simply. <clears throat> no, your name's H2H. On account of the uh, company I keep, and what varied company. I am a collector, you see, not of bijou and baubles, but of stories. The history and culture of these isles have ever been a source of endless fascination. Can you tell us the story of the sub that went underwater to investigate the Titanic? The oh, is that too soon to talk about? I guess maybe it. we should have changed the subject. And so I've taken to sharing that which I've gathered with all... Yes, Venom Snake, I know what you were talking about. I saw your message earlier. Alright, so before we do this, it uh, looks like I did get uh, my first tip of the night, a $1.69 tip. Uh... What? From Murray. You ever ask permissions to stream games? Uh, no, you don't have to ask permission to stream a game. As long as you're creating uh, something to it that creates a transformative work, you don't need to ask permission. Um, there are situations where some games have what's called a street date, so you cannot get a game early before it's public release and try to stream it. But in general, no, you don't have to do that. Okay? So that was Murray. And nobody does either. Absolutely nobody does uh, get permission or anything like that. There'd be certain certain circumstances where you probably would have to, but no, in general, it's not required. So. So, here we go. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, let's see here. I, I received a second tip. Thank you. A $4.20 tip here from... Zangief's Big Pecs. He says, Hi, Phil. Have a great week. Well, thank you so much to Zangief's Big Pecs. It's very disturbing that his pecs would actually be sentient and be able to contribute to my streams and send me messages. However, the fact that the message is positive makes me feel a little bit better about it. So thank you to Zangief's Big Pecs. We're going to say his name is Zangief's Big Pecs. There we go. 
And uh, that will actually get us $5 of total tips for the day so far. Well, I'm not for the day, but for the stream, I should say. Uh, so thank you. Uh, seems like a good place to split the part. Been playing for about an hour. I might go a little longer with this next part regardless. Uh, actually, another tip came in. Hold on, I'll shut this out now. $5.55 tip just came in from an anonymous tipper. Thank you to the $5.55 anonymous tipper. I hope that you're enjoying tonight's stream. Nothing to be said, though, just anonymous. So there you go. Sorry, Zangief's big pecs. You've already been knocked off the leaderboard. You're just not big enough. Or maybe you're too big and you you stumbled off the leaderboard because you were so unbalanced because you're such huge heaving pecs. It could be. So thank you for that. Okay. Um. Cool. All right. Good place to split the part. And when we come back, it looks like we will be uh, exploring the Holy Empire of Sambrek and uh, all these different areas, right? Past Orbel down. So cool. Oh, by the way. This is part four of my playthrough. This is still launch day for me. I'm enjoying the game so far now that we're actually getting into more of the meat of what it's going to be. If you're enjoying this playthrough, please consider giving the video a like. Please leave comments for engagement. Let me know what you think of the game and or my gameplay of it or anything in general about the game or you know anything like that. I'd be all ears. And it helps for engagement on these earlier parts. And of course, perhaps if you're enjoying the playthrough, consider maybe like a super thanks or a tip on, for the channel. And uh, uh, come back with part five in just a sec. Thanks for watching. Hey Zoro, stop being a disgusting perv in the chat. Thanks, I'd appreciate that. So what the hell is that? Wait a minute. So she didn't become a creature, but she summoned the creature? I'm down here now. So someone in the chat just said they're 15 hours in and the game is incredibly linear, kind of disappointing for Final Fantasy. If you remember, Final Fantasy 13, I don't know how many of you played it or played it when it was new. No exaggeration, Final Fantasy 13 is incredibly linear for something like 30 hours. Then all of a sudden you hit those open planes and the game becomes vibrant and different and exciting and so much better. Why on earth the pacing was so bad that you had to go through that much linear content to get to the open part? I have no idea, but the game dramatically increased in quality when you did. I wonder if that's what this game will be then, I don't know. Tell me that scowl means you've got good news. So, a shady lad with a hood. That's who you saw. And it's equally shady lass. The beginning. Not much to go on. But. But. I've been thinking, if our friend is a dominant, why not just burn the royalists to a crisp? <laughs> There's a reason he's holding back. Yeah, there is. And I reckon he has something to do with his partner. What makes you say that? One of the villagers I talked to said the two were separated. If the Waludas have her, our dominants like to think twice before starting any fires. Whoever he is, he's shown himself to have a level head. He's careful, cunning, and he doesn't want to be found. <clears throat> this could spell trouble for us and the Royalists both. Still, it'll be a whole lot worse if we set off after them with bleary eyes and empty bellies. There should be a pair of pallets waiting for us back at the inn. Shall we? All right. Speak with Quentin. Don't let them get away. How am I supposed to dodge? I've never seen the attack before. This is dumb as shit. So I'm definitely dying. There's nothing I can do about this. I don't know what's going on, right? about the game and of course i'll talk more in depth about this on tomorrow's podcast but overall i had a great time with all of you i hope that you enjoyed the game so far it's definitely very different again every final fantasy is so different right um <clears throat> but i am enjoying it 
I hope that you will join me later in the week for more. If you are watching this on demand on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed all five parts here on release day. Remember, uh, liking these videos, leaving comments for engagement helps a ton. And anything else, it's been a great day of fun here with Final Fantasy, and I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And until next time, this will continue on uh, in a little bit. So thanks very much. Until then, peace out. And don't let the Torgle get fleas. That's right. All right. All right, guys. So let's talk because some people are already asking. So here's the deal. Let's talk about the schedule so you guys know what to expect. <clears throat> Tomorrow, it's Street Fighter Six day. I've made a decision. Are you ready? I mean, This is a, a big announcement. I've decided that tomorrow I will be trying out... Drum roll, please. Oh, hold on. Drum roll, please. Actually, hold on. I have to do this anyway to do the daily wrap, so I might as well just do it now and tell you guys what's up tomorrow. All right? <clears throat> Why is it so big? There we go. Okay. So tomorrow is a Street Fighter 6 day. All right? And tomorrow, I will be trying out a new character who I have not used yet since the game released. <clears throat> and the character is... Hold on. Everyone, hold on. Be patient. Got to plug this in. Hold on. Turn off the TV. All right. The character I'll be using in Street Fighter 6 tomorrow is hold on i'm gonna go charge my controller i'll be right back hold on <laughs> okay the character i'll be using tomorrow is okay ready chun li character that i only used very briefly in the first wave of the beta way back in like October of last year. I have not touched the character since. And I'm interested to see how she plays because she seems fast. She seems to have high combo ability and mix-ups. Uh, what I will do tonight is I will actually uh, watch some videos of uh, high-ranked Chun-Li players to see what they're doing. And then tomorrow I'm going to go into the guide. I'm going to go into training mode and the combo trials and do some of that and then go online, do a little bit of casual play with her to try to learn the basics. <clears throat> And then, uh, you know, going to jump into ranked multiplayer with her. All right? Now, all day tomorrow is Street Fighter Six. I don't know if I'm going to play with Chun-Li all day long or if I'll just use her for the first stream and then the late night stream. Maybe I'll switch it up. Maybe I'll go back to, like, Lily or Zangief. Maybe I'll be craving more Blanca or Marisa. I'm not sure. I'm curious to see how Chun-Li goes tomorrow. If she's going really well, then maybe I want to play her all day long. All right? So Friday, it's Street Fighter Friday. And, yes, including Friday Night Fights. It's going to be Chun-Li and Street Fighter Six to start, and we'll see what else happens over the course of the day. Saturday, it's DSP versus the Internet My React Show on my React channel, DSP Reacts, and Saturday night is the continuation of Zelda. So that means Sunday... <laughs>